Hey guys, welcome to uh, Friday's Fitness Corner. I'm Janine, we're at Studios Fitness and Dance in Wellesley. And this week we're gonna work on plank. So I know that there are a lot of you guys out there who are working up incrementally with your time in plank, and meaning the goal is to just hold plank longer and longer and longer. My opinion on that is why. Um, so once you get past a certain amount of time and you can hold things nice and stable, my suggestion for progression, instead of just holding it longer and longer, is to add movement to this. So the core works for uh, in a couple of different ways, well it works in many ways, but two of the ways I want to talk about are stabilizing the body while the arms and legs are moving, right? And that works with many exercises that we do. The other reason that we want a nice strong stabilization with the core is so that we are stable when we move from one position to the next position. We want to keep ourselves nice and strong. So working on that concept, I'm going to do travel planks. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to travel it to the side and I'm going to travel it back this way. Now I want to make sure that my core line stays nice and straight without any breaking in the hips, right? Or knees or shoulders are going to remain over the hands the whole time. And so I'm going to stealthily, I hope, go back and forth. So that's going to be our exercise for today. I'm going to get my hair out of the way and get ready to do this for you guys. Coming down, start in a nice stable plank. My hands are underneath the shoulders. My feet are a little bit wider. Okay. I'm going to keep my hands a little bit closer and I'm going to move. breathing and you can continue this two or three sets and back again sit back child pose it's a nice child pose come back up and we're done see that's so cool you stabilize the movement I don't know, we're gonna come up with something for next week. Stay tuned, see you guys later, have a great week.